Hey guys, so we are checking out a clip today all the way back from 1998. It's with Jerry Cantrell and Lane Staley from Alice in Chains. That's a bit of a rarer one, this. It's from June of 1998, so that marks about two years since the band's last live performance, which was all the way back in July of 96. And that was when they were playing some shows with Kiss. So Jerry Cantrell is on Rockline, and he is promoting his first solo record, Boggy Depot, which he released just a couple of months before this, and none other than Lane Staley calls in. So, let's check it out. We have a call right now from uh, somebody I believe you know, Jerry. This is Lane Staley from Allison Chains. Lane, how are you tonight? Blatch. Doing good. Uh, hey, what, what's, what's the words to that song, Brown Stainer? What's, what is it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> how you doing, man? All right. Hey, Lane, where, where, where are you tonight? Where are you calling us from? Uh, I'm calling us from my home in Seattle. Oh, you're up in Seattle. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Now, what was the nickname you used there, Jerry? Blanche? Blanche. Oh, not, Blanche. Now, now Lane, yeah, is that a cool yeah. thing or not? What's that? Is that a cool thing for him to call you that or not? Uh, I guess. I, I, I don't even recognize when he calls me Lane anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> Blanche is it. That sticks. <laughs> All right. Oh, he used man. to call me Sa he used to call me Satan Hoof along with many other things. So. Satan, that still yeah. sticks. I'm right. sitting here with my shoes off and it's pretty bad too. Then you guys know what Satan Hoof is. <laughs> well, this may this may be a good thing that I'm in Los Angeles and Lane's in Seattle and Jerry's in Cantrell. Uh, Jerry Cantrell is in New York because Jerry's, Jerry's got his shoes off. Yeah. <laughs> we we may be lucking out here, Lane. We may be on the better end of things here. I think so. <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> let, me, let me ask Lane very very quickly here. What what's going on with you? What's up with you these days, Lane? A uh, bunch of stuff. Yeah, huge things. Yeah. Um, nothing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a really big nothing. It's a really gigantic nothing. Uh, have you heard Jerry's album? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, be, be honest. Do the review while Jerry mixes his corn nuts together or whatever he's doing back there in New York City. What is that, Jerry? I'm just chewing on some ice. Chewing on, ah, chewing on ice. Okay. Hey, what do you think? I, what do you actually, think? I don't want to tell you what I'm really chewing yeah, on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just pass on that. <laughs> okay. I've never heard it make that kind of noise before, though. Uh, what, right. what, what? What do you think of the album, Wayne? I love it. I mean, you know, it's it's Jerry. It's, um, you know, I'm used to the sound, and it sounds like Jerry, and I've always loved Jerry's songs, you know. So. Thank you. I like it. Thanks for calling, and thanks for being on tonight, and uh, good luck with whatever it is that you're up to these days. Oh, you'll hear about it real soon. I have a feeling we will. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Blanche, you're welcome on Rockline anytime, too. So, All okay? right, <laughs> so that is a pretty cool clip. As I say, the band hadn't done anything for a couple of years at the point of this interview. Things had majorly cooled down with Alice in Chains at this point, hence Jerry Cantrell making his solo record. Staley had lost his fiance Demery Perot back in October of 96 and it was said that he wasn't doing all that great at this point health-wise and in fact it was just two months after the clip you just heard there in August of 98 that Staley would go into the studio for the final time with his band Alice in Chains and record those two songs Get Born Again and Died. So a bit of history for you there. Thanks heaps for tuning in as always. Be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time.